All right, the next part of this series is gonna be working on separate mallet rotation, how the mallets move in your hands. Hopefully, you can see this pretty well. I tried to get a pretty good angle. So we're gonna to wanna to set up outside mallets first. If you don't know how to do that, watch the last video, explain all of that. So the way outside mallets move, you kind of wanna think about polishing like a glass ball. You wanna be able to hold it here and then these move straight up and down and you're just kind of like rubbing that glass ball. If you want to think about it a different way, it kind of looks like you're holding a PlayStation controller, or in my case, a pencil box, because work with what you got, and you just go straight up and down. You don't want to be turned over like it's two mallets. You don't want to be rotated too far out. We're not playing upside down. Just straight up and down. If you hold something, it might help you keep kind of that keep your hands together and keep them from rotating too much. So, hopefully you have a keyboard in front of you, or if not, you're just doing this like on your floor or something. But pick a comfortable interval, usually I'd say about a fifth, and just practice going straight up and down. There should not be too much like wiggly motion. There's gonna be some, especially when you're learning, but as you get more confident, that will go away. One, two, three, four. Okay, if you need to watch that again, feel free. You can always message me if that wasn't explained well enough. Um, I would also, once you get this motion down, work on one hand at a time. All of our warm-up exercises can be played this way too. That was abridged because it's 10 o'clock at night. Okay, then for inner mallets, set your mallets up again. This one, set it up one hand at a time. You're going to think about rotating around this outside mallet. I know it's kind of hard to like get a feel for that motion without hitting your own arm, but you want to use your outside mallet as your axis. This is never, this is not going to move. You're just rotating like this. And see how I'm always coming back up. This is a full stroke. Like, we don't want to be going like this. My arm in the way. Don't want to be going like, do do, do do. Um, and we don't want to just be going from flat down because then we get really bad playing area. We get up onto the, um, I don't know what you call this. I'm going to call it the node of the mallet. That's probably not correct. But you don't want to be going up here. Like, you don't. You need to keep your wrist down, keep your mallets up, if that makes sense. You don't want to bring your wrist up and be playing down from here. You see how my tone changed? Okay. Um, so, same thing again with the right hand. You can hold on to it if you want to. Make your outside mallet the axis. is not too high. Keep it down low. All your motion should be coming from your wrist, not your elbow. We're not doing this. We're doing this. Um, so when you put that together, we're going to have four mallets and want to work on outsides only I like to do what's called like the butterfly method so you can cross your two inner mallets and use them to kind of rotate around because this 
the motion of your outside mallet is going to work the same way. You're going to use your inside mallet as your axis and rotate around it. You're rotating around. So if you cross them, it'll look like this. Let's see if I can play octaves. And you kind of want to keep it, like focus on keeping your mallets crossed towards the end of the mallet so you don't want to get down to like here because that's not a good playing technique just keep it crossed right in the center there and you can work on switching which mallet is on top it is going to take some time to build up the muscles this is a different set of muscles than two mallets so i should have explained this when i was setting up mallets but a good way to develop muscles, especially in your um, pinky and ring finger, is what I call like table exercises, table finger exercises. Hopefully you can see this, but you start straight up, table, go all the way down, roll up, all the way straight. Table, roll down, roll up, straight. Table, down, roll, straight. Hopefully that helps.